Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, last time you saw us do our insulation fitting and this week we are in the process of fitting the floor and lining um, over the wheel arches in the back of the Defender. That's going to kind of work as our main floor plate and then we'll be able to build everything else up off of that. We did start shooting the insulation video and this video at the same time so you might see a little bit of overlap but I kind of felt that this was the best way to do it to give kind of the most succinct viewing experience if anybody's thinking about doing something like this themselves. So we're going to get into it and yeah, hope you enjoy. I'll, I'll catch you in a bit. I need to, I need to cut out certain sections of the wood panel here so that it'll sit nice and flush against <clears throat> the back uh, well the side panel of, of the Defender so I'm using some of our kind of off cut pieces from the insulation so that I can kind of make my guide template make sure that that, that all sits in nice and, and flush about a room um, so we can get it in easily and then I'll mark <coughs> on here with my pencil kind of where this needs to be and then when I take this out we can line it up again and then on the inside on the inside line we can Line. so that we know where we need to cut with the jigsaw. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe start that, get that cut and then from there we can we can do a fit. I'm going to have to do another little bit over this <coughs> this door panel uh, or the this C pillar um, for the door so we'll we'll get this done so that we can bring this in flush and um, to here and then we can see where we need to go from there so I'll just keep going and we'll time lapse this next bit and um, so you guys can can watch along see what's going it's not going to take you as long to watch as it's going to take me to actually do it so let's get cracking <coughs> It fits. So the next section is to do. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me turn this. <clears throat> so here. So again, we'll um, we'll go through like this. We'll measure it out. We'll see how much we need to take off and then we'll mark it and we'll, we'll cut it out. So we'll go ahead, we'll start marking this out, we'll get it cut, and then from there we can we can see what we need to do. Um, I'll need to cut down a part of this panel um, just because the door will need to close, but you know, it's it's taking shape nicely. So I'm pretty happy with how, how this is turning out right now.
there you have it. It's um, it's taken shape. Everything's sitting relatively flush, oh, which um, which I'm really happy about. I'm going to leave this for about an about an hour, just to set and cure a bit better. So I'm going to go and tidy up, and once I've done that, I'll come back and show you a few a few kind of points of detail um, around here. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go and tidy up. Here we have it, one one side done. And um, I'll just flip the camera around and kind of show you inside what all has been done. Here it is. So we've got this panel in along the bottom, this one on top. So the adhesive is in. I've put in a few holding screws just while the adhesive um, cures. But you can see how, I think, so the insulation on one side and then what the finish will look like on both sides. It's, yeah, I'm really happy with, with how that's turned out. We will have kind of a little cubby hole under here. So I I just kind of left that. I, I forgot and, you know, made made it all tacky there, but um, that's that's not gonna be an issue that I can peel off whenever we we get round to to doing the rest of it. I did have to make a few cuts along here. Um, so you can see from around here and then around this door pillar and then also to make clearance. So I'll still need to sand this back. Oh, there we go. Some sealant on my fingers. So still need to sand that off, but had to leave room for the door clearance. So that's that's pretty much that again, just a few screws along the way. And once it's once it's all hardened we'll decide whether we want to keep those in or maybe just fill them in with some wood filler and sand it down. But yeah. There we have it, another episode done. We've got our flooring down. We've got everything kind of starting <clears throat> to fall into place. And I just want to give you a sneak peek at what might be coming in a video in the, the upcoming weeks as well. So check this out. Little sneak peek at, at the camper fit out. Don't want to give too much away, but there's a new video coming in the, the upcoming weeks about how we went from the basic shell right through to all of this so if you don't want to miss it make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell if you enjoyed the video as always hit that like button it really does help us out a lot see you next time